Greetings and welcome to another week of um, devotionals where we take a moment, a few moments each day to be in the Word of God and prayer, pray together. We thank you for this privilege of being able to spend a few moments together with you each day. We have been looking at Jesus' teaching on faith and we're going to continue that this week. And uh, what we are trying to do is outline or highlight some of the key things Jesus spoke or taught concerning faith so that we could begin to understand it and then apply it in our lives, begin to practice it, put it to use in our lives as we learn how to exercise faith in God. Today, I want to bring our attention to the fact that the Lord Jesus taught us that faith must be acted upon. That means if we say that we believe something, or we believe in God for something, we believe something that God has spoken, suppose we believe that, then we need to act in line with that. We need to have actions that express what we believe. You know, when we think about the natural uh, circumstances, suppose uh, somebody believes that uh, something bad is going to happen, then they stay away. You know, if somebody uh, believes that if they go out of their home, you know, uh, something bad is going to happen, what do they do? They stay at home. I mean, they are doing something aligned to what they supposedly believe at that moment. But in a positive manner, Jesus taught us that when we believe in God for something, then we act in line with that. There are many examples that we could see, uh, instances in the, in, the, in the ministry of Jesus where he brought this out, where he communicated this. Uh, we will point or bring our attention to um, a, a few. In Mark chapter 2, speaking to the paralytic, he said, but that you may know the son of, that the Son of Man has power on earth to forgive sins. He said to the paralytic, I say to you, arise, take up your bed, and go to your house. And immediately he arose, took up the bed, and went out in the presence of them all. There's another situation where Jesus is walking on the water. And his disciples are in the boat. There's a storm on the sea. Matthew chapter 14, verses 28 to 29 Peter said to him, Lord, if it is you, command me to come to you on the water. And he said, come. And when Peter had come down out of the boat, he walked on the water to go to Jesus. Now, in both these cases, we know that faith was at play or at work. In the case of the paralytic, the Bible tells us that Jesus saw their faith. You know, they had already demonstrated their faith by bringing the friend all the way from his house to the place where Jesus was. And they even went, took the extra effort to go up to the roof of the house and let make way and let this paralyzed friend into the room where Jesus was uh, so that Jesus could pay attention to him. The Bible says Jesus saw their faith, their faith acted upon became their faith expressed. And Jesus recognized that. He saw faith in those actions. And then he told the paralytic one more thing. He said, get up, make your bed, and go home. In the case of Peter, we know that faith was at work, and Jesus told him, come out of the boat, walk. And he walked, and he actually went to Jesus, walking on the water. These are just two examples, but the point is this, that we must act, take action that expresses our faith. Faith is released when we act our faith. Let's pray. Lord, we ask you for the understanding and the grace to act our faith, to correctly exercise or express our faith through our actions, what we do. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. 
For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.